I suppose for every beep that you. Yeah, the driver the other day was saying it's too small and it he struggles it's all right. to get. It's, it's, all right. it's, just, it's just a matter of getting used to it. It's not easy for disabled to get on because it's not got the air suspension, has it? No, no, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. If the ramp's got to go down to a low thing, it's quite steep. Yeah. Um, that man then that I was talking to is from the council. He was doing an assessment on it and whether it's working or not. <laughs> so I, I give him a piece of my mind. <laughs> Right. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the ideal size for getting around the new bit, you know. You know yeah, it's you find it easier. Part, See, the driver I was with the other day he said it was actually harder to get round and harder to get up against curbs because that used to drive the big ones. Yeah. The way the, the way the bus is designed. Yeah. Even if the tyres are not quite as big as the curb, you've still got a gap there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because I had to get off over at the community, the um, care home the other week. Uh, the other day with it and um, there was a van from the builder's site parked in the bus stop so he, he stopped just before it and there's like a drop down bit on the curb and he tried to put the ramp along that and it was so steep I nearly toppled the wheelchair so for, for wheelchair users it's not great <laughs> Yeah, you're you know would have I mean? thought, yeah. yeah. They obviously haven't, have they? No, definitely not. I mean, this bus, you could, easy, you could only fit really one wheelchair user on it. Yeah, you can. Whereas the other ones, you can fit two or three on. But it's the way the, there's no space between the ramp and where the wheelchair sits. No. And you saw how much trouble I had trying to get into the spot. Yeah. It's not easy. Must be a bit easier for getting up past the um, chippy and that where it's a nightmare. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You should forever getting the buses stuck up there with right. the bridge part. qualified in three months she'll be the first Alaskan Malamute in the UK to be an assistant so oh, right. yeah name? sorry what's her name Nuka Nuka yeah I lost my little dog right yeah she's a very special because she's a balance dog as well so when I'm out of the wheelchair and I'm walking um she actually keeps my balance stops me from falling oh, okay. yeah actually not too bad it's the bus she's more worried about really? yeah <laughs> yeah she's, unfortunately because when I'm in the chair I have to use the bus to get about because right. um, I haven't got a car that it'll fit in yet oh, okay. um, yeah, eventually when I can save up enough they're too oh, expensive at the moment no you get um, more mobility you do them on um, deals and stuff but it's still like three thousand pound for a deposit oh, right, okay. So, Where are you from originally? Originally, uh, Rochdale. Rochdale? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Defin <laughs> definitely not from round here. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. Thank you. Thank you.
Thanks. Alright.